What is going on everyone? So I know it has been a while since I have done a actual talking video and I've just been really busy. Long story short, I ended up picking up a second job. So now I'm working constantly, constantly, constantly and I spend most of my time <clears throat> either sleeping or working. <laughs> so I haven't really had a lot of time. I know there's a lot of you get a lot of new people here from Geekdom's channel. So hello everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoy your stay here. Um, I'm hoping to produce a lot more content for you soon. Um, but <clears throat> for this video here, I wanted to talk about some cool uh, little novelties here that I've collected over my years of some rare Dragon Ball Z DVDs. These aren't even all of the ones I have. These are just ones that I find peculiarly very interesting. So <clears throat> here's... One, I'm sure most of you are like, oh, that's not rare. This is just a regular Captain Ginyu Double Cross. Well, <clears throat> what if I told you there were two completely different, well, not completely different, but two different versions of the same DVD? Now you might be asking, well, that's weird. Why would that be the case? Well, let's open it up. Here's the original release. Captain Ginyu Double Cross, as you can see, it's, it's, this is one of the original Funimation DVD releases. So the DVD looks very plain, it looks very, you know, just kind of whatever. This, <clears throat> I'm assuming, was a re-release. Oop, it is out of its holder. Because look at the disc. Hold on, let me put it back in there. Okay, because look at the disc. Very professional looking disc. Very non-professional looking disc. Also, this just focuses on Captain Ginyu as Goku. Well, this has Captain Ginyu as Goku with Gohan on it. It's got the Funimation logo. This is the Funimation logo, but everything's in <clears throat> everything's in a different spot, and uh, <clears throat> it just is completely different. So that's that. <clears throat> now, what if I told you there were other multiple releases of other DVDs? Now, what's going on here? These two. I find to be very interesting. These, <clears throat> look, most Dragon Ball Z DVDs, if you look at them, most of these single releases were released anywhere from 2002 to 2004. However, these, like, I have some Namek Frieza Saga DVDs that were released in 2003. So why is it that these Future Trunks DVDs, hold on, let me see if I can get it to focus... Why is it most of these Future Trunks DVDs, or these two here, were released in the year 2000? This one too. But then you have this one here. Look at the text. This is, the text is one thing you can first notice. Look how these are at a slant. See that? Here, it's regular and straightforward. This right here, how the text is here, is how all of the Dragon Ball Z DVDs are, with the exception of these two. These are the only two where it's at a slant. Also, something else to notice is that this one has three episodes. It has episode 106, 107, and 108. This one has five episodes. 106, 107, 108, 109, and 110. 109 and 110 are technically counted as filler episodes. This is the one where Yamcha trains in the um, in the uh, spaceship, in the gravity chamber. And this is the one where they go driving. So those are technically considered as filler. So I can, I can see why they were kept out of this one. But what I believe these are is these two DVDs were originally released as strictly promotional. As nothing more than just to promote the Future Trunks arc that was about to debut on Toonami. And then this one came out after its debut on Toonami. The only thing I think is weird is that this DVD never got a re-release, only because the episodes that are on it are all that need to be on it. If you re-release it, there'd be no reason to re-release it because these are the only episodes it has on it, are these three. These three right here, if I can get it focused. 103, 104, and 105. Because either way, these still start off with 106. The other ones wouldn't be able to have any more episodes on them. So that's one thing I think is weird. I have no idea why these two were released. If anybody has any more information on those, uh, please let me know. I just think it's weird that... Um, 
that they were released in 2000, which was three years before a majority of the Dragon Ball Z DVDs were even released around that time. This is another one I picked up recently. For those of you who follow me on Twitter, y'all would have seen it. This is a Dragon Ball Z Journeys DVD. It includes the final episode of Dragon Ball Z and the first episode of Dragon Ball GT. It is exclusively available at Target. What I believe this is, I'm not entirely sure, but what I believe this is, is, it is, the, it is a bonus DVD that was included for Budokai 3. Uh, when that came out, it was this was a pre-order bonus kind of exclusive thing for Target because there is another um, DVD that's similar to this, uh, but it has Super Boo on it, and it was a GameStop exclusive. So I think that that was the GameStop exclusive for Budokai Three. Well, this was the Target one, but I could be wrong. Um, this has, they, but what's cool about this one though? is that the final episode of Dragon Ball Z and the final episode of Dragon Ball GT, what if I told you that the quality on this thing here was better than the ones released on these single DVDs? Now, what I mean by that <clears throat> is that it's the same transfer. It is the exact same transfer. So, I mean, the, uh, like the, qual the main quality is the same. However... From what me and a friend of mine have kind of noticed is that the encode seems to be a little bit better on this than it is on the actual single set, which I think is a little interesting, and it makes this even more rare. Um, but yeah, I think you could find this on Amazon. On eBay, it's a little rare, but I think that Amazon has a few listings with this left. If you just Google Dragon Ball Z Journeys, you'll find an Amazon link, and it has some. Now... I know a lot of you have seen the have seen this Dragon Ball Z the best of Goku. This is not hard to find. In fact, you can still walk into a lot of Walmarts and still probably find this. But have any of you actually seen this? Dragon Ball Z the best of Vegeta. This was something that was planned to release alongside the best of Goku uh, release. But for some reason, by the way, these are both Walmart exclusives. But for some reason, the Best of Vegeta release never got released. Not officially. I assume that they had shipped this DVD out to some stores before it got cancelled. I don't know what happened to make this release get cancelled or what or whatever, but it did. So this release was never even advertised, even in the Walmart that I found this in. This was never in any movie section. This was never advertised. This never had a sticker on it. I found, I was lucky. I was the luckiest guy on earth. Literally walking out of Walmart, had no reason to, I didn't even come here for a movie. I think I went to check my, check my bank account or something like that. And I went there and I was walking out of the store. And as I'm walking past the $5 bin, I see this out of the corner of my eye. And I say, no fucking way. Pick this up. And I have it. It's the Best of Vegeta 7 Fights DVD, which this is rare, 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 rare. So, um, yeah, these are some cool look, a cool look at some dra rare Dragon Ball Z DVDs. Um, do you guys have anything rare that y'all would like to share? I think the Cap two Captain Ginyus are kind of cool. Um, how the re-release is different than the regular one, and I also think that the Trunks DVDs are also kind of cool as well. Um, but yeah, go ahead and let me know uh, if you guys have anything rare, and uh, yeah, I will catch you guys later. Bye.